Hey guys, Jesse here. We're at the Everlast booth, Fabtech 2022. I'm gonna go over a couple new features on our Typhoon 230. Uh, this machine's gonna be coming out, shipping late February. I'm gonna go over a couple new features for you. So on this new machine, we've got independent amplitude and independent waveform. So I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the independent waveform first, and we're gonna run a couple beads with some different versions of uh, the waveforms and show you what they do. So use the knob and scroll through. See, we scroll through all of our settings. Everything's right up front. There's no hidden menus to search through. Push the knob to select it. Your lettering turns red. That means you're, you're adjusting that setting. So we go back to it, select it, roll through. We go to our trapezoid waveform to start. This is on our electrode negative and our electrode positive side. So now we are running trapezoid waveform on both EN and EP. So let's set up on the table. Let's run a couple beads and we'll see what she does. Again, we're gonna run this with trapezoid wave on the EN and the EP side. We'll run this one, see how it looks. You know, pay particular attention to the sound. And then we're gonna go back to the machine. We're gonna actually switch over and we're gonna run on the electrode positive side of the waveform, we're going to run triangle, and then on the electrode negative side, we're going to run either soft, square, or advanced square wave. And we'll see a significant difference in the way the bead wets out and the way that it sounds. All right, so we just got done running the trapezoid waveform on both our EN and EP. Now the trapezoid still has a flat peak, so you're at your max uh, electrode positive and electrode negative uh, for like a flat section. It doesn't ramp in, like roll into it, and it doesn't roll through it. It's still a flat, um, a flat peak. What you do have is you have a ramp into it like triangle wave. So it's trapezoid wave, a good way to think about it is a combination of like advanced square and triangle wave. So you, you get a little bit more fluid puddle, but it's also a very tight, um, very stable arc. So now we ran this speed, you can still hear it had a little bit of a harshness to it, kind of like an advanced square, because uh, you do have that hard edge over into your peaks. So we're gonna go ahead and set the machine back up. We're gonna go to soft square on the electrode negative and triangle wave on the electrode positive side. So let's set the machine up, we'll get back to the bench. So now we're here back at the machine, use our dial, go over and select our negative side of the waveform. So we're gonna go to soft square, now our positive side of the waveform, push it into select. We're gonna go triangle. So now let's go back to the bench, see what difference this makes. So now we went from a single waveform, now we're mixing our waveforms, you know, differing between our electrode negative and our electrode positive. So what we can do is we can really tailor the arc characteristic to do what we want. We can also uh, reduce the heat put into the tungsten. So on the electrode negative side, we're using the soft square, so we, we get a nice buttery wet out. We also get almost our maximum heat input into the base material, but on our electrode positive side, we're running square wave, so we're putting less heat back into the tungsten. And you'll hear a difference in the, the arc characteristic, and we'll see a little bit difference in the, uh, the bead appearance. So. So here we've got our two runs. This is the one we just did running the, uh, like a mixed waveform. So our soft square on the electrode negative and our triangle wave on the electrode positive. You can actually tell between these two, running our trapezoid, which has a little bit less heat input due to the way it ramps. You can see that I was a little bit cold off the start, caught myself, we ran real nice through the middle here. You can tell that our heat input was quite a bit more dramatic uh, you know, increase in heat input as we started here with our, our soft square on the electro-negative side. And the, the arc didn't have quite as harsh of a sound as we ran through. We had a lot more heat input, a little bit fatter bead, a little bit wetter bead, which is what we wanted from the, the soft square. So with the new machine, you can really tailor your arc and your bead to exactly what you want on your part. So it's, a, it's gonna be a really fun thing to play with, see people play with and uh, we're going to be coming out with a lot more videos on how to best use this feature on the new machine soon. So stay tuned to the Everlast channel. 
Um, be looking for this machine to ship late February um, of 2023. I'm Jesse McCollum, Weld Mean, Weld Green.